Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at how I ran fiber to my office, um, all of the adapters and transceivers that I used, all of the different parts and stuff. We're going to be taking a look at how I got it all connected. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this is my order to fs.com, as you can see right here. Uh, this is all of the fiber that I'll be using throughout the video. So let me go over what I purchased from fs.com. First of all, I purchased these 10 gigabit per second transceivers. Next, I ordered five of these keystones, which I ordered way too many, but they were really cheap. Ordered five of these. I also ordered some short patch cables, which also is way too long because they're just gonna need to go from here to the switch that will be right here. So they're very long, but you know, it'll be fine. Finally, I ordered this patch cable that will go from this rack here in my office uh, into that plate downstairs uh, to my MDF. All right guys, so it is now the next day. I have the rack uh, pretty torn up. As you can see, all the cables are not zip tied anymore. I'm starting to pull out the fiber cable. And as you can see right here, if we go up here on the ladder, uh, you can see this is the conduit that I'm working with. Uh, it is quite small. I'm just going to keep pulling a little bit and pretty much just see what happens. I apologize for jumping ahead, but here's what it looks like in my office. And here's what it looked like downstairs after all of the cables were ran. Basically what ended up happening was I pulled it way too hard and the cable did not seem to take that very well. Uh, the cable is still functional um, and it's just not ideal. So everything is through, the cable is through, and I have it all connected. And let's take a look at how it looks. In case you don't know what transceivers are, let me show you. So let me unplug this fiber here. A transceiver, this is a 10 gigabit transceiver. But basically what they do is they plug into an SFP plus jack or SFP jack and they convert it to fiber. So you can plug in fiber. So here are some other kind of transceivers and SFP connections here. These are also fiber. These are just one gigabit per second fiber. Uh, and this is actually kind of different SFP. This is one that goes to ethernet. So you can plug in ethernet to it. So if I wanted to, I could plug this in here. To this and have another one gig ethernet port on the switch which is really cool so sfp is really nice because it's pretty expandable i would say you can have a lot of different modules that you can um, add or remove from your switch so if you need fiber that goes 10 kilometers you can do that this fiber only goes 300 meters this transceiver is what it's rated for but you can get ones that go 10 20 kilometers and shoot fiber across like crazy distances so Transceivers are really nice. That's kind of what they do. Hopefully that helps if you didn't know what they do. All right, so in terms of what's in my office, here is what it looks like up, um, here. So basically we have a short jumper cable that goes from the keystone up to my switch. And then behind this keystone is actually another fiber cable that couples on and it goes down here to my wall jack to another coupler that then um, runs the cable downstairs. The reason I have so many couplers is because in case the fiber gets dirty anywhere, I can either swap out this coupler for $2, this fiber cable for like $2, or this longer fiber cable for like $5. I'm not having to swap out this entire cable that goes through the conduit and all that every time it gets dirty. So it's just kind of a cheap insurance, I would say, that prevents the fiber cable from going bad. So that is that. Obviously, we are running at 10 gig here. You will see more about this switch later on. Um, I have a video like walking through the switch, as well as another switch that I ordered from Microtik that connects on the other end, so that will be a fun video. But in this video, I just wanted to highlight the fiber, kind of what it is. This is multi-mode fiber, um, which means the fiber is actually a little bit bigger than single-mode fiber that is inside of this cable. It doesn't necessarily matter for shorter indoor runs like this, but I just decided to go with multi-mode just because the transceivers were a little bit cheaper, and so was the cable. But I'm doing another fiber run with single mode fiber also at this building. So I will show you kind of what that looks like in another video coming up where I'm using the single mode fiber. But this is everything here in my office. So let's head to MDF and we'll check out how this all connects in there. All right, so I apologize for the noise down here. Here is the fiber coming in. And so I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the rack now. So the fiber cable comes down here in the rack. This is the multi-mode fiber and this is single mode fiber. Um, you'll see more about that later, but so the fibers coming in 
and I have a little service loop here just in case I need to ever remove the rack or do anything like that. I have plenty of fiber here just in case. So that will go down here and it will go into this keystone coupler jack. And obviously the connector is a little bit broken from when I ran it through the wall, but this is what it looks like on this end. And in here, as you can see, there's another coupler cable that plugs into that. That goes all the way up into my bigger Microtik switch that plugs in there over 10 gigabits per second. So this is the Microtik switch I was talking about earlier. The other one that I got, there is eight 10 gig ports in one um, gigabit ethernet port, which is awesome. So that's what the fiber looks like down here. It is all working amazingly and it is amazing having that much um, bandwidth available in my office um, because I've never had that before. So really nice to have. All right, so that wraps it up for this video. As you can see, I have a ton of packages here from Microtech and FS.com. So if you're curious as to what is coming up next, stay tuned, make sure to subscribe. There's a lot more fiber content coming soon. I'm doing another fiber run, installing some more switches. It'll be really fun. I'm super excited. So like I said, if you're curious about any of that stuff, make sure to subscribe and um, stay tuned. It's coming soon. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.